Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Infinite balance, in effect, giving you that energy, 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 energy. From the cosmos to your center flows. And right now, as you're listening in the beautiful city of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, you can hear the train coming by. Which is so bliss right now because what we are talking about is how the year of truth are happening right now. The way truth is happening right now in the year of 2024. You know? And it seems like it just all kind of like exploded after the solar eclipse. It was like an unveiling, the shadow and then light, light will come. Now, even before me, I'll talk about them some there right now. Um, there's a comedian named Cat Williams and he was in an interview and he was also saying, this is the year of truth. Truth is gonna be coming out in all sorts in 2024. Now, this is interesting because I'm sure people know about what we are going with um, Sean Combs or P Diddy or Puff Daddy. I mean, I know the name him, him will go by right now, but I'm, I'm sure you're familiar with at least three of those names. So, me and my journey, I really stopped listening to like that type of mainstream music. But I mean, no Puffy for the fact that in my less wisdom days, used to be heavy in listening to the all sorts of hip hop, rap, dancehall music, you know, them, them something there. And let's be real, a lot, of, a lot of them spew out negativity. So, it's the way, it's interesting how it's like a spell of cast when you name yourself a certain name it even accompany a certain name good example death row records you know and where are they now now going back to bad boy records now are the owner or majority owner Sean Combs pop that in I mean I know if bad boy records still exist but just going back there now so Again, interesting how things are becoming unveiled. I mentioned in another video way back when how it seems to be like if anyone familiar with the Simpsons, how they had the stone cutter, stone color, <coughs> the stone cutters. Easy for me to say. Even the bird up there laugh. The stone cutters. How it was, it was like an exclusive group for a certain certain members them. Now, in real life, rumor have it, have it there's another group where all the elite them. And if someone in that group crossed the members in some way, the man or woman would be exposed. And you've seen this in Hollywood right now. I mean, again, you know, um, we're not into really looking at the mainstream media, so we don't know that as, unless it's just right up in my face. And the ones that are just right up in my face that we know right away is um, Bill Cosby and R. Kelly. And we know the situation never end, end nice for them. But now it seems like it's going through PDD. It's like he, he did something wrong where now he's being exposed for everything. Now, when, I, when the thing with um, him and the gal, the gal Cassie accused him of, you know, raping all, all them something there. Now, I didn't do, I wasn't doing no research from that. I just more or less read the heading than I go about looking at what I, I'm interested in to make myself a better virgin. But through now, racial video footage, of the man 
beating up the woman. And it's interesting how I'm saying that right now and trying to go by. It's like a sign. Saying, saying like things are just drifting apart. You know? But we make it we're gonna make this quick. So now supposedly now, okay, the video come out, it shows Puff Daddy beat up the woman. So now, this is what I heard way, like I'm here, I think a couple of days ago, but the saying from Puff Daddy was weeks and weeks ago, how Puff Daddy <clears throat> said, I'm tired of this, them people coming after him and um, trying to take his money and they're just coming after him for a cash grab. That I didn't know till like a couple of days ago. And then from that video to show, and then for him to put out the video, now apologizing for what, you know, basically apologizing for what he did to um, Cassie. I mean, we're not just PDD. We're not related to him. We have no, <laughs> we not have no association with him. We have no, I guess, horse in the race at the same. But I find it interesting. Again, a train go by. I find it interesting that this is how the world works today. Whether you like it or not. It's a deny, 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 unless they have 100% footage proof of something, and then you apologize, and then everything bliss. That's how the world is today, whether it's in that Hollywood thing or in life itself. Whether it's right and wrong, you, you'll be the judge of that. Because I'm a believer that whether someone pure evil or someone pure bliss, once they ascend upon another, another world, another earth, everyone will be at peace no matter what. Because in my opinion, everyone's just going through what do you call where spirits living the living the life of like humanoid beings. Like it's just it's a, a lesson of some of some sort. But that being said again, the way how life works is deny until there's proof, then you apologize, then sometimes it move on, sometimes it doesn't. But with Puff Daddy now, now again, it seems like there's a cert, certain club where all of a sudden everything's being exposed with him. And now after that, it's opened a Pandora's box about all them other women coming up saying he did something else. And not only that now, now there's another celebrity, um, white boy from uh, Backstreet Boys. Forget the name off, off the top of my head. Something caught up. How... Some woman accusing him of raping her now. And now the way how things started with Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, Sean Combs, it's starting the same way with this person. And if everything following the same script, there's either gonna be some type of footage, some type of evidence that's gonna show this person expo exposed and it's gonna be another situation like that. Again, sorry that I, I ain't speaking about them something there right now when it's supposed to be pure positivity, but I'm speaking on it right now because a lot of people think that people in Hollywood are living a bliss life. And it's interesting that when, when that occurred, the beating, the abusing. It was like two days later, they're at some kind of red carpet event. And you see them both smiling, grinning. So it just shows that never judge a book by its cover when it comes to at least Hollywood. And how them sitting there go. You know? Again, this is I mentioned before after 
the eclipse. I said something bigger gonna happen. I don't know where it's positive or negative, but I see like something, something good it's be exposed really for the better the betterment of life of mankind. Still stand by that. And this just shows how I feel like Hollywood is protected until something go on in where one of the something will happen to a celebrity that I don't know they cross some type of line then all of a sudden everything come out of the woodwork because think of this how footage of the video been kept secret for all this time until that thing was uh, made the accusations and then all of a sudden a video go upon CNN you know so that video must have been hidden for like years 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 then something must have gone where some PD or something did something wrong and they decided to put out the video but anyways in closing you know, I just bring, um, spread some positivity from whether you're in right now in the beautiful city of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, enjoying the summer weather. Again, I told you in a previous video, once I, I see Danny Lyons upon the grass, I know it's summer no matter what. In the summertime this now, also festival season, at least in the greater Toronto area, downtown Toronto, you know? So people in from like, if you're from the States, from the Caribbean, you're from, you know, the coal, from the temperate area. You know, you know, stay bliss, you know, stay crisp. You're from the north, south, east, west. Everybody stay blessed, blessed, and more blessed.